Okay, here we are, uh, Parachute Mobile. It's uh, about, yeah, 315. Um, winds are kind of high, a little too high for the Rob and the others. So we got in two jumps, and uh, here at Byron Airport, they have skydiving. I'm gonna give you an overview of the, what we have here. Okay, what we were, for radio comms, Actually, the primary radio comms was this set right here by, you know, Rob. Um, he has like two radios here to look at our jumper QSO at 146.43. And then the radio, another radio for monitoring W6CX repeater. That's for people throughout the Bay Area can give us a call. Here you can see Rob has a full assortment of all kinds of things. His go box with power supplies, etc. Um, you know, various things. A uh, laptop for doing various items. Uh, this is our weather box, uh, Mike Peckner's design, and also an APRS data logger. Um, did have an APRS on one jump, and uh, so we logged that. That was jump two with AF6 IM mark. Uh, the weather box is packed away, standalone anemometer, wind speed indication. Uh, transmits on Bluetooth so we can feed that we can view that data on our computers but it tend to poop out so we don't know what's going on uh, right here we got the two laptops these are ones of mine so the one on the right is what I was used to monitor the weather box and also to view the raw APRS data stream computer on the left is our streaming video that's what we, the system we use to stream over the internet. Uh, I had two radios right here. Um, the one on the right is a dual band that I use for, you know, W6CX, but then also uh, the QSO simplex frequencies, and then the UHF. We got two TV sets here. Um, the one on the right is parachute control. That's just, well, lack of a better word, but that's our ground base camera and the air to ground would take the video from Michael Gregg's uh, you know uh, air to ground video transmitter transmit over the air oh I forgot to say about the radio on the left that's an old ICOM I use that for receiving the APRS data stream so you got the two TV sets then I got a then the box on the lower left is a switch box and I can switch from one view to another Air to ground didn't work out very good as the connector inside the transmitter broke. Something we cannot repair here. This was a video camera they used for the ground based video. Um, you know, the parachute control. And sometimes I use this camera as well. And we have Bonnie, and actually, have Robin and Bonnie, and they would just do it. Just various logistics <laughs> support, getting supplies, taking wind readings when our weather box broke down, and things like that, and just helping set up stuff. Here we got uh, Michael Gregg. He two. is, yeah, jumper two, uh, KF6 RWR. WRW. WRW, I get that mixed up. Okay. But he was the genius uh, behind the air to ground video. Uh, but though he is not able to overcome these cheap SMA connectors yeah, that break SMA connectors. all the time. Yes. Remember that. And here we have Rob. He's uh, packing up with all our stuff right onto here. And so he's kind of, I guess you would call us the main instigator and organizer of everything. Uh, Data Do, which uh, Michael Peckner, NE6RD, is not here. He's busy with various things. So he trained us on the use of all this equipment, etc., and the weather box on um, data logger. Now uh, this table right here is kind of like the jumper prep. Um, what there is that when you're when you've got APRS communications gear, uh, video, it's quite a bit. And of course you got the skydiving rig. In fact, this is the most simplest part. In some ways, it's the most important because uh, you know. <coughs> You know, because this thing, uh, you know, it's a matter of life or death. Whereas everything else, if it fails, well, it fails. 13th mission, October 13th, something like that. For all those that uh, gave us a QSO today, thank you. KC628. And so
and Robin just kind of giving the last uh, wrap up for that. So we may kind of be putting it all, you know, putting it all together right here. Um, and just some other stuff here to document, uh, whatever. Yeah, we're going to have to kind of then put things away. You know, so we need to get it on paper, the lessons learned on what works and what doesn't work. Well, hi, I'm Michael, um, standing in front of the camera. So I got involved with these people as I heard about this parachute control. Thought I'd do some video for them. And then I've been also helping with, um, you know, the weather box uh, viewing and also with the APRS and this, the live streaming video what we have. So anyway, um, basically that's a wrap up. This is Michael K6MFW.